up? Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to uh, post another video for you guys to check out. So I've had some awesome feedback from the past couple ones, so thank you for that. But I have had a couple people ask about some of the basics and some of the, the ways to get started with a pendulum. And so today we're going to go ahead and dedicate that to how do we get started with a pendulum. So let's say I just went to the metaphysical store and I just bought one or I was on Etsy or Amazon and ordered a pendulum for the first time. I just opened it up out of the package. Okay. So this right here, this is my Nova. This one I picked up from intuitivedowsing.com. I love it. It's super responsive. It's super quick. And it's definitely something that emits a white light, so it's natural for healing. So very first thing we want to do, if I just pull this out of the package, right, we want to be able to bless this and set our intention. So for me, what I do is I like to put it in between my hands for praying, right? And I put it up to my forehead, and then I ask to set my intention in the pendulum. My intention would likely to be that the highest truth of all concerned come through, that the highest good for all concerned be used to the use of this pendulum. Okay, so those are two main things that we need to understand that when we set our program and our intention with the pendulum, we want it for the highest truth of all concerned and for the highest good of all concerned. Okay? So after we say our prayers and we set our intention and thank the universe for bringing this to us, what we want to do is we want to take it and blow into it three times. Now, this thing is programmed with our energy. Now, for those of you guys that have a white uh, light pendulum, you can keep these in your pocket, carry them with you in your purse or, you know, whatever. It's, it's fine to carry it with you. If you have something that emits a negative green frequency, we want to be able to not carry that on us all the time. Uh, but a white, white light pendulum like this or an ISIS or something is, is just fine. Okay, so getting started, how do we establish our yes and no commands? Yes and no commands, okay? So for me, a lot of people think you have to hold your hand perfectly still so you don't move it, and it makes it real hard for this thing to generate energy. Even now it is, but it's not very much, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it what I call a kickstart. I'm just going to push it forward so now it's at a swing. Now it'll spin around a little bit, but eventually, once it levels back out to right here to the north and south, it is ready for a question. And so I ask universal knowledge at this time, can you show me what a yes response looks like? Okay. For me, it is a clockwise spin. And you guys can program your pendulums however you want to, but naturally this is mine, it's clockwork spin. And we always say, okay, thank you. Clear. Now it's leveled out, now it's ready for the next question. I say, okay, universal knowledge, can you show me what a no response looks like? Okay, counterclockwise. This is what works for me counterclockwise is a no. Some people, thank you, Claire. Some people like the north and south spin or the north and south swing like this as a yes, and then they'll do the side to side as a no. You know, whatever, whatever works for you, I guess, is the best one to do. So whichever works. Okay, so same as before, like when we're sending energy and removing energy from things, we gotta remember to ask, okay, can we send healing energy to the higher self? of whoever I want to work on, okay, so I'm getting a yes from it, and then I'll say, how about, okay, please send healing energy to my friend so-and-so, and so what it'll do is you'll spin, and it'll send the energy, you want to let it do its work, okay, eventually when it's done, it'll get back to the north and south position, where it swings right here, you say, okay, thank you, clear, I asked to remove any and all obstructions from receiving healing energy of my friend so-and-so, okay, so removing goes with a counterclockwise spin for me. If you had something where like say there was some sort of energy line or a portal in the home and you wanted to scramble the frequency of the portal, you can ask to please scramble the frequency of the portal at so-and-so's house at this time. And so scrambling the frequency for me also gets a counterclockwise spin. So once again, there's no perfect way to do it and it all comes down to how you feel uh, works best for you. Okay, so working with the pendulum, um, sometimes it's easy to set aside a little bit of time to work on it. Uh, when I first started getting into it, it was a little bit harder to do that. So what I found still works best for me is I'll carry one in my pocket or I'll carry one in my, in my truck or something. And whenever a question comes up, I just pull it out and start asking. So if that's helpful, you know, I think setting time aside is good. And if you can do that with your schedule, great. But for me, it was like, hey, that question just came up. Well, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to ask a question. Okay? So, and last and most important, when we're establishing communication with our higher self, 
We can also connect to our spirit guides and our guardian angels through the use of this pendulum, okay? So you can even ask them, you know, do I have any spirit guides here with me? And you can get your response, and then you can start asking, you know, is it a male or female, and what do they, whatever they look like. Just remember, after every question, we want to say thank you and clear, because then it gets us set up for the next question, okay? So, circle of protection. I'll tell you mine that I use, so maybe you can use it with yours, or adopt it, or change it, and do whatever works for you. So, when I get started with a pendulum, what I always say is universal knowledge. Please surround myself in the highest light. Keep me protected from all negativity, and let beings that reside in the highest light be the ones allowed to touch me. I ask that I naturally repel anything that doesn't serve my highest good health and well-being of myself, of my house, of my family, of my business. Let it spin until it's ready to go. Okay, so here's just some of the basics uh, to get started with. Um, you can keep it in your pocket, you can keep it in your safe space, keep it in your meditation area, you know, all that stuff is good to go. I think you find the more you work with them, uh, you'll probably get a few different kinds because they're all kind of good at different things. Uh, like for me, this Nova is a white light pendulum and this is good for like sending distance energy to people and uh, water imprinting and this and that. This is my Egyptian. This one has a negative green look to it, so I won't be carrying this one in my pocket, but this one works very good at working with like tumors and thought forms and helping clear spirits and just that kind of stuff. This is another one, this is my Isis. This one I pretty much use for when I'm working on charts and stuff. It's a little bit smaller, it's pretty quick, and it's really easy for me to read with some of the other stuff. This is my dome pendulum. This one has a blue-green, and this one works really good for sending healing energy and also works well if you're working on somebody in person, like a Reiki session. These work really, really well. And I have my Orion. This is what I've had for a little bit to kind of help me get started on my healing journey. And I tell you what, sometimes I go back to this thing. Every time I use it, it just feels really, really complete. Um, once again, this is called the Orion. It's a healing pendulum. So if you guys got any questions about any of this stuff, or like, hey, where did I pick up something like that, or where can I find this, or whatever, man, feel free and drop a comment. Uh, you can send me a message, Home and Health Energy Works. Pendulum stuff is definitely a big passion of mine. So if you got any questions about it, or you're unsure about anything, feel free and reach out. I'm here to help. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good week, and enjoy the rest of your day.